and we are live now suresh yes live and alive yeah. we have more live fascinating topic <laughs> last time live and or sales sales is such a fascinating topic you cannot be you know not live you cannot be not alive you are a dead guy you tell me about sales you know sales guy will open his eyes absolutely but yet you know you need not be jittery and excited you can also be suave calm composed and yet be a exciting sales guy that's the what smooth, we will have today rolled out the, the, the smooth sales guy yeah absolutely <laughs> like the james yeah. bond the smoking one you know the, the the smooth sales guy but not the smooth talking sales guy <laughs> absolutely you said it perfect okay uh, let, let's let's go to the intro video first yeah yes yes hi guys Yes. yes, the music mesmerizes me. I'm in a different zone, not in the mood yeah, to run the show. But yeah, nice, nice, all nice music. music. Yeah, we need to have the we need to have the yes. music extended and play in the background while we speak. Exactly <laughs> correct. The lulls into sleep, but sales is all about, all about being alert, being in the moment, being taking action on the move. That's all sales is all about. That's the guy today. Hi, wonderful MSMEs. and wonderful entrepreneurs and professionals an amazing topic today of how to handle major accounts and governments it is not the same at all and as msmes become more ambitious more bigger opportunities open up it's a great topic today to delve on on understanding how to sell to the big fellows and with me like sandeep said the smooth talker nahi but the smooth guy he is the guy who is not only sold high and wide but also far and wide you talk of any nookad of this country he has gone there in his suvs or is in his sedans or his cars he's been the guy on the field the smooth guy none of the comes it i there go kaushik chan hey good afternoon everybody yes hi kaushik thank you for being on the show we are all looking thank forward thank you so much for giving me the opportunity also no we are all looking forward to what you know the the tips that you have as far as Uh, uh selling to large organizations are concerned you see what happens is uh, a lot of our audience consists of you know very many msmes and uh, selling into a large uh, organization or a large company is sometimes very daunting you know, because the msme uh, entrepreneur is always overwhelmed with the fact that you know the organization can be larger and you know they can be pushed around uh, and they really don't know what to expect so uh, today's tips are going to be very interesting but before we get to that uh, a little bit more suresh has about your background and you know where you've come from and how has been your journey absolutely before that sandeep i need to ask i thought sales guys are supposed to be haggard and hassled and all that like me you know hair or flowing up haggard <laughs> how can you who look I, mean, i don't sandeep you don't laugh at me okay when i mean i mean yeah, i i meant it from the heart okay but how come this guy i'll take myself of off screen <laughs> <laughs> okay is but that better <laughs> thank you so much sandeep i'm feeling more at home now so how come you this guy is so quintessentially bengali absolutely yester year golden hero very calm and quiet how did you manage to do that is the first question which you can answer during the show but more importantly for all the wonderful people watching our show here is somebody who has actually taken organizations or multinationals like x epson india head for sales into the large big fellows as example so many companies technical selling and all of that into bigger organizations kaushik it has been a fascinating journey right from the time you hit the road as a sales yeah. guy yeah yes of Sir, course if i answer your first question about my the the hair everything that is not my credit it goes to my parents first of all what i'm to <laughs> and and definitely you know the journey has been quite uh, like a roller coaster in the in the first half 
and then it went on settling down i learned a lot of things like when i started my journey in 1994 in the professional world with jl morrison i really learned how to sell a product which is never sold fantastic that was the first you know exercise which i have gone through probably uh, nobody will understand that you know uh, a nivea cream how it was actually sold in the market how a wisdom toothbrush has been sold in the market probably nobody has used that toothbrush right but how to actually take a price of a product and piggyback it on the other product and then sell it out because after all it has been manufactured to be sold and not to be kept back in the warehouse Right. So that was a lesson from JL Morrison. From there, I shifted to an office automation. I was with PCS for a long time, where I actually learned what is garment sales and what are the top line company sales. Followed up by my instinct as a sales head with uh, uh, Epson India on the projection part. That was again a pretty good journey of seven years time, where I understood how to initiate and how to make people understand. what is a garment sale and how to go about it the integration part so these various uh, you know places where i have worked i had good mentors with me who has actually taught me the step by step how you actually get into an organization and come out with the result that's very important yeah fantastic very well said you know a very very important point uh, i think kaushik you brought out is that a lot of sales people you know uh, we need to have good mentors which also means you know uh, one is that the organization provides mentors the other is from a sales person's perspective i think the sales persons themselves need to be open to the fact that you know that they could be mentored because if you are not willing to listen to somebody who you know who probably has more experience and wants to guide you you probably will lose out on a lot of the learning that has already happened absolutely institutional sales is almost so much of test match play the test match temperament is so crucial and when you mention jl morrison whether it's b2c or pcs or epson india in all the aspects the institutional sales comes out so well and it's so interesting you mentioned that it was supposed to be sold not to be kept back in the warehouse and how much of marketing and sales interplay also goes into institutional sales It may not be conventional marketing in the in the technology portion but yet it's the interplay is so very fascinating amazing so we get on right to the uh, fascinating journey of the interest of time to the tips that you have laid out for all of you here yes. so much of tips which kaushik was laying out we had to be extremely uh, reluctant but we had to cut it down to five in the interest of time but here is somebody who's got an ocean full of tips that you can use to, to make sales a difference here it comes so i think this is the key word in any of the sales uh, organization and any of the sales person who has actually taken this particular journey as his most as, as his emotion because sales is an emotion sales is a journey you have to go through it and it is never a solo activity it is always a team sport nobody can do anything alone a manufacturer cannot sell on its own a product cannot be sold with a team there has to be a b2b there has to be b2c in everything so it is ever it is everything is a team so i would like to name the team as together everyone achieves more right that is what a team yeah. is wonderful right yeah, even yeah. even if you get into an organization into a large organization it's so important that the ones who through whom we sell into the organization and all have to be in tandem it can never be one guy hitting six sixers in an over right it cannot be that it is not simply possible to self sustain that right and i think in b2b and in major accounts all the more right it has to be a team game absolutely in the organization you know it, you know it's it's ironical because a lot of sales people out there you know they they hear stories about sales guys you know being the heroes and they always believe that you know uh, rather most of them believe that they can do this themselves on their own what you rightly pointed out is that you know you need the support and you need to be able to leverage your other team members you know not just that you call them when you need them but Correct. they will probably be able to pitch in with their expertise which will eventually help you know you as the sales person to do what you need to do so from that perspective i think it is very important that as you rightly said that you know it's not a solo activity you know it's not a one man show it's it's the team that wins yeah absolutely absolutely, absolutely. fantastic that's a great start 
So uh, has this been a case with you too in your journey from JL to Epson India? But uh, you've probably been part of the team. But in that, when you excel, not only do you uh, get the crown, but the team also goes up. Right? Organization, entire organization gets lifted, right? From a different level. Not in terms of only revenue and sales, but I think in, as an organization, the organization quality goes up, right? Exactly. Because see, it's a culture basically, which you work. Even after Epson, when I joined KEA, one of the biggest distributors in the audio market today, who handles around more than you know uh, 18 to 19 products across the world today. See, it is all depends upon how you actually use the culture of the organization to represent before the world. Hmm. It's very important. Yeah. People will remember you. People will recognize you only if you display the culture. Right. Very true. Good. Let's let's move forward. Yeah. Perform. So it's my favorite point. Kaushik. Prepare the soil. Prepare the soil. Wow. Soil. I mean, you sure we're not into an agriculture show, right? No, I am not into agriculture, but it is actually cultivation. Wow. <laughs> it is not agriculture, but it is actually cultivation. So it's cultivation among even cultivation of yourself, cultivation about your own culture, cultivation about your own integrity, everything. Because today what happens if I at all come into sales, I should know that this is my vision and this is my mission. I have to prepare the ground to sell a product. A product cannot be sold if it is not explained and if its utility is not being spread over the, over the information medium. So the, the moment I get you know, a scope to cultivate the soil more, put a lot of manures, everything inside, and once it is ready, then you, you are actually ready to take Now, coming back to an organization, if I can you know, find out where is the need of the organization, do they actually need the product or not? then we can right. actually start cultivating that the USPs of the product inside the organization so that you know the need actually slowly slowly comes up cool Otherwise, so when you, you so, so, so so when you say prepare the soil you are actually talking in terms of you know doing the background work doing the homework you know things like that right exactly that's the cultivation not on the not on the field it's actually the sales <laughs> field the, yeah. the research about how uh, one can have a vision to offer one's own product and solution to an organization, build up the value, value proposition, the USPs, and just get into the organization genre, right? Correct. Why does he need the product? If he doesn't at all need the product, then you, you can keep on trying years and years. It will never happen. Right. Yeah. So, right. And ask you, Kaushik, here, in this disruptive world where everything seems to be happening in a hurry, uh, the fact... Uh, uh, of doing this, will it take too much time, or one can put that into a specific time frame? Is this going to take like forever, or one can put it down? That's why SMEs no. are concerned about. It, 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 is not at all for, it is not at all forever. Maybe the time for cultivating a soil has to run parallel along with your other activities of the organization also. It is you cannot stop cultivating the soil. For example, right. if you go to an agricultural land, you cultivate a soil, you raise something. The thing is over, and then again you have to raise it for another crop. Right. Yeah. So right. it is a parallel practice which every team of the organization, every organization should carry on. There is no but, end uh, to it. From a sales parlance, try to sell whatever low-hanging fruits and products we have got. In the meanwhile, build up more value for our higher solutions, higher in selling. Do it in tandem. Is what you're saying. And if you feel very unlikely, ne hone wala, then get exit the account. Right. Get out from there. Like yeah, no point and I, and I, I think that's probably the next step there, you know, in terms of finding out what, what we can do. Yeah. See the need. See, I tell an example for if you, uh, you know, there was somebody who has actually sold small printers to the different malls, to the different mm -hmm. departmental stores. Mm -hmm. If you remember previously, we all used to have big, big printers, you know, which prints the bills. Right. And it was to take a lot of space on the counter of the on the shops. But there was one one person who's actually thought about it to cut down the printer in the smaller sh shape so that it takes a less space in the medical in the medical right. counter. Right. Right. And that was the innovation done by Epson at that point of time. 
they developed small printers of this size, which you find in all the highways today in the country, in all the medical counters, even in majority of the departmental stores, starting from Big Bazaar and everybody. They all use the small POS printer. Those are known as the POS printers. Right. So yeah. that is the need. That was the need by the organization. I very interestingly, you know, Kaushik, this need would have been given back to the back end uh, R and D team by the sales guy. Uh, himself or herself right they understand what's happening in the market the feedback goes right back so selling is not all, always about from the organization to the customer also the other side it's two way other side yes. The two way. yes the feedback of the customer what actually they need right. right that's very important what actually they need correct yeah and and you uh, it says see the need and spec the usp uh, yes could you just elaborate on that yeah, yeah. usp is today I and you has got the same product. Now the question is, why me? Why you will? Why the customer will buy from me? Right. I definitely yep. has to have something which is different and which is better than my competition. I need to know my product, and more than I know my product, I need to know my competition product also. Aha. Uh -huh. That yeah. is very important. I will know my product because I am in the company. The company will train me, but who will teach me about the competition product? If I don't know the competition, how will I know myself? How better I am or how bad I am? Yeah, yeah. You must know. You must one must know the competition. That's absolutely right. Very you very critical. Competition. Yes, because if you don't know the competition, then we will get staggered at one particular place, which is known as price. And once the discussion gets into the price, your game is over. Very true. Uh, I, I see a lot of sales always get stuck over there. Uh, you know, Absolutely. a lot of sales people, a lot of sales people turn around and you know say the things like, uh, "Well, the customer is only talking about price." You know, and I at that point in time, I think in my mind, well, because that's probably because you didn't have anything else to say. Absolutely. Definitely, the person who is coming back, you say that you know the, the customer is wanting only price. I'm not denying that there are people who wants only price. But there are ways to calm down the customer and take him away from that particular subject, make him go round, merry round, and come back again to the price. He can be taken care of. Yep. That is how the it is. Part is USP, uh, in my experience, you no, know, Kaushik, and maybe I would love to hear your perspective. There are so many small, small adjustments one can do on the product, and the USP suddenly becomes so very uh, intelligent, so very uh, attractive. USP does not mean a total overhaul. It can be small adjustment and tweaking of a value proposition, and the unique selling proposition really becomes unique, isn't it? Yeah. This is a very simple example. Today I was seeing the advertisement in the paper. One of the car makers, they just increased the warranty of from two years to three years, and from seventy thousand kilometers to one lakh ten thousand kilometers. Right. So they have yeah. not changed anything. They have not changed the right. structure of the car or anything. Correct. They have just changed that warranty from two years to three years, and from seventy thousand to one lakh ten thousand because people will not see that four point with literature what is written when terms and conditions apply. What they see that is exactly written on the eleven points, right, on the top. Correct. So when I called up that guy today, before this meeting, so what it is actually they they told me sir it has to be on the plain road. We only take as a manufacturing defect. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, read, read, read the fine print, right? Exactly, exactly. Read the fine print. But so even yeah, that is also a process. You cannot deny yes. that. Yes. Even if the yeah, fine print is not there, even if the fine print is not there, even one does not depend on fine print. Even just by communicating it differently, so that the customer or the prospect really gets value. Itself defines a USP. I mean, in my opinion, USP creation is a very specific art. Sales guys must master, right? Absolutely. Every time. The same See, it's very important. I remember USP. what I remember what I have learned from my PCS background, from the Putney Computers background. Right. We used to take the competition brochure as well as the sell brochure together. Okay. And try to find out how to create that tender with a one or two points, which will eliminate my ninety percent of the competition. Right. Yeah, Now the interesting part is you cannot eliminate all competition yeah. because the government will not allow you to do so. Right. So you have to liaison with somebody, go back to the basics and find out the maximum number of you know elimination. Right. 
push that USB in such a way that every people can quote on the generic way, but there will be two points which will take you a bit away from them, and then you score on that. Super. Yep. You said so find the man. How, that is how yes. the tender is created. The moment right. you try to follow a tender, you are nowhere. Right. So from yep. big organizations, we are now entering the domain of government. It's so interesting to get into government sales, and today's government sales has become so different. From what it was, let's say about ten years from now, right? It's totally yeah. different. Yeah, I think he's he's gonna. He, I think he's gonna talk about it later. Can yes, we yes. move on to the? Uh, yeah, find the man. What do you mean by find the man? No, How find the man is the right person. If I, if anybody in the organization is not a fit candidate for you, first of all, we have to find out who is the right person to talk to. You have to go and find out, engage people to find out who is the right person, because your time is precious. If I tell my story to everybody in the organization, then it becomes a different because they understand you. Right. So man is basically money, a person who has got money, a person who has got authority and need. Now, this particular man has been defined in various ways in today's market. But I still remember that man to find out who is the person who will take me there. Who's the, who's the person who can give you the order? Yes, who will help me to build up the tender? Who yeah. will let me know ki what is the payment conditions of this company? So there are probably mul multiple, you know, multiple people. Yes. Yeah, because because sometimes in a large organization, organization, yeah, large organization, multiple, because, you know, decision makers on different issues. Yeah. Absolutely, because we need to understand that in an organization, a bigger organization, people are paid to negotiate on behalf of the organization, and you are alone there. That's right. Yeah. Okay, and, and good. So, uh, also in terms of handling the situation, the coach, the influence, and decision maker, everything comes into play. I mean, there are different yeah, everything comes. Are wonderful. Yes, over to you, sir. Next topic. Next tip, rather. I think this is the most important topic. This is the topic of team again. One team was inside the organization who was actually helping you and the pre-sales component on the after-sales component and to make the tender fit for the organization. Cross-team collaboration is something which will always be there. You cannot do everything. Your company cannot do everything. You can collaborate with some other bigger company to actually gain the tender. Because all tenders actually comes into effect with a condition that the that the SME or MSME has to have a 200 crore turnover in the last three years or this and that. It does not mean that if you don't have the turnover, you are ineligible. You are not eligible actually for the tender. You have to make yourself eligible. So I talk it as, I tell it as a cross team collaboration, collaborate with good people, with bigger people and be present on this tender. Because the more you get tenders, the more you win tenders, your turnover will go up and tomorrow or day after tomorrow, you will directly be eligible for that. Yeah. So you're saying uh, create, a, create a consortium of coming together. Right? Create, is, yes, it is very important. People always go to fight alone. They want the entire thing from them. It doesn't happen in that way. Very relevant. Yeah. Okay. So for example, in the, in the school of Gujarat, we were only in the time of Epson, we were only supplying printers. But then somebody was supplying desk, the somebody was supplying batteries. So as a whole, there was one, one pa party who was actually buying from all of us and then giving a complete solution to that user. Sure. Right. Back to back, back to back transparent agreement uh, shown to the government. As yeah, well as exactly. But as a whole, your EMD is taken care of. Your Correct. turnover is taken care of. Your yes. exposure is taken care of. Right. So you and are the credibility of the products. The credibility yes. of the product is taken care of. Exactly. Now your product gets a visibility. In that right. process, when you go by collaboration, your product gets a visibility. That's very important. Got you. Right. Very it gives you oh, more oh, chance oh, the next oh. time. Yes. I have my eye on the clock. Yes, yes. <laughs> the villain. final thing is everything is okay unless and until you submit the, the quotation, the tender. Okay, the technical tender, passing through the technical tender and then go to the commercial tender. Most important part is to know the flow of the papers. 
because in any organization whether it is a government or a semi government or a corporate the files keeps on moving from one table to another table they don't fly on their own you have to make them fly and that is what another relationship engagement with the organization where are you to find out where are you and how far are you from getting the order right it's very important yeah because a lot a lot of time what happens is you know uh, uh, most sales people they turn around and do what is right and get stuck at a particular stage because you know when when their senior will ask them okay what do we have to do and they turn around and say well you know i've done everything you know now wow we have to just wait for them to give us the order right and you don't know that you have been you know taken care of by somebody else <laughs> because there are instances and there are reasons why even an l1 also sometimes does not get an order right there is no place of complacency anywhere in a tender correct and today of course we have gone into a different market which is known as a reverse auction which has become more dangerous the reverse auction actually plays online where you have to be on tip of your bottom line you cannot play a reverse auction game unless until you are very much clear about your bottom line that's right how much to go how much to go down till yeah how much to go down because happening online and right. and, and there are so many different opportunities in so many different places and yeah. i think you're going to tell us about that next there you go so wow oh wow this is from, 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 the, from agriculture to jewelry kaushik No, no. <laughs> it's actually a jewelry. It's actually okay. a jewelry. Right. It's a diamond. <laughs> it's actually a jewelry. It's the garment e marketplace. Wow. But I fail to understand why majority of the SMEs and MSMEs why they don't talk about this. You know, it's the total to transaction the values market. of Gem, yeah. the garment e marketplace, currently is at ninety-seven thousand crores. That's huge. Huge. That is ninety-seven thousand crores. As in, as in, wow. it's, it's live in India. As it's going on right now, it's live. How it's going on. It's live. It's and live. Oh, and, and there are government. There is particularly an agency also who are working on this, uh, who are helping the SMEs and MSMEs to get them some registered. The only thing which they have to play is basically first to quote and get yourself registered. there is an organization called startup runaway okay which helps people which helps smes and msmes to get registered wow okay and there are lot of educational tools on how to actually register also gem because gem is particularly there is no tender if okay. you can create the need as per the second slide the order is yours yeah If you can create the need, you got the man. Oh, wow. The order is yours. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Say yeah. that again. With gem, there is no tender. There is no tender. Right. If a government organization wants to buy something, and it uh -huh. is available in in the gem website, your product, they can just straight away place the order to you. Okay, so you mean to say the sellers uh, have to go there, register, uh, put their products and services with their pricing uh, on the website, and that's it. And that's it. Wow! So and keep on and keep on noticing and yeah, and, 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 and be live on the website every day and check that how many orders are coming and how many you know inquiries are coming. Okay. okay. Today, what has happened? I tell you, in my organization where I worked for the last KEI, we were into audio products. We never believed at one point of time that audio products can be sold over a gem, but we registered. I emphasized on that during my tenure there, and told that my to my boss, keep please register also in gem because every organization is going to develop a conference hall. They need a speaker. Right. Every organization, every department is going to have that. They will require a speaker because that is the work of the day. And then we got there, we got a whooping order continuously flowing in. Wow, that's interesting. And the pay, most important is the payments are highly, highly secured. You straight away get ninety percent payment on spot. Oh, great! That's cool. That is really good. I, I wonder how many. 
I wonder how many salespeople really know that and you know make sure that their organizations are registered any along with their products and services. Person, yes, of course, any salesperson or any organization who can actually study the scope of GEM, mm -hmm. they can really need book to fortune for that. Wow. Profound. Very, Very interesting. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Thank cool. You. This has been awesome. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that was that was really good as far as the gym is concerned. I really don't know how many people are aware that they can, you know, just go there and register themselves and, and get government orders without tenders. I'm sure a lot of MSMEs and a lot of salespeople out there just think that the only way to get a government order is participate in a tender, and you know, it's a, it's a cumbersome process, and and you know, they don't have the bandwidth, wherewith, you know, resources to make sure to go and do that. But uh, this is this is something. That you yeah, there are formalities. Sense. There are actually formalities. Yes. If somebody wants to know the formality, they can always come back to us. We can always yeah, help them in understanding how to get registered, and they yeah. can do it. Yeah. So, so that's, that's 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 the email ID. If you have any questions, you know, and we will be very happy to pass them on to to Kaushik to answer. And in case anybody is watching and still have questions, that's the email ID where you need to send them to. Yes, and also the what comes to my mind now, Kaushik, when you said what you said. It's very important for sales guys, MSME selling, to actually go prepared for the sales call. No point just parrot dropping there and say, Abhi bechu. Nee. homework is so important. Getting ready is very so important. important. Very Absolutely. important. Yeah. Yeah. Product knowledge, yeah. homework, seeing the person, yeah. very important. Right. Yeah. Super. Profound. So we we have we have a few comments that have come up, and you know, I'll just put them up over there. And yeah. uh, that's uh, Adi Satyanarayan who says uh, PSUs will send inquiries to vendors who are registered with GEM. Uh, there will be no negotiation, but you need to submit proposal on par with GEM published rates. Okay, so absolutely. That's, absolutely. That's, that's that's great. You know, thank thanks for that, Adi. And uh, it just goes to show that you know if your presence is there on GEM, you will probably get inquiries directly in coming into you than you rather than you going and finding out those government organizations. Exactly. So that's that's something which is very good. There, there's another one here from Akshay who says that. Uh, Gem was a gem. Another was cross collaboration. That's thinking lateral. Good one. Yep. I think he liked uh, what we saw, what you presented. Thank you. Thank you, Akshay. Thank you for watching also. Uh, okay. So I, I think uh, uh, this has been really, really helpful. If anybody has any more questions, please feel free to type them in the comments below. Uh, we will be monitoring this chat and uh, put them on to uh, Kaushik to answer. Or you could you know, just send us an email if it's a little more uh, longer question and if you really want some more advice on that, uh, here's where you need to send it to. Okay, So that's, I think, uh, it from us for today. And uh, uh, Kaushik, I'd like to thank you for uh, telling us, especially the gem was a real gem. Okay, And I, and I hope everyone keeps remembering that one. Right? And um, uh, Suresh, final thoughts on uh, today's yes. program. 32 minutes and uh, 54 seconds ago, Kaushik was smooth uh, and as smooth can be. Now he's become silk and smooth after 32 minutes. Absolutely spot on sales guy. Kaushik, thank you so much for gracing our audience. Thank, thank you, Suresh. Thank you, Sandeep, for giving an so opportunity that, to speak out here in the forum. Thank you. Thank you. Cool, Kaushik. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> K for okay, cool. Just, yeah, just K for cool. Yeah, K for cool. Yeah, K for cool. <laughs> Yeah, so I will just uh, thank you, I'll end the broadcast. Yeah, thanks. Hang on, just stay there. Thank you so much.